Hi, I'm Stephanie, and this is An Instant with Chef Stephanie Izard. Today, I'm gonna make a braised beef with bok choy, some pickles, a little bit of crunchy on top. It's gonna be super tasty, super simple, only a few ingredients needed, but you're still gonna pack a lot of flavor. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot with the Ultimate Lid. It can pressure cook, it can air fry, it can saute, it can steam, it can do just about everything, and we're gonna use three different functions to make this meal. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Instant Pot set on its saute setting so we can do some nice high heat. And there's six different levels. We're gonna put it on level six so it's super nice and hot. And what it'll do is brown our beef on the outside, lock in all that juiciness, and keep it nice and juicy and tender when it's done with the pressure cook. So first thing we're gonna go ahead and get our beef all marinated. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. I know when chefs say that it seems like a lot of salt, but I promise it's just a nice little coating, really meant to bring out all the different flavors and what we're making. And then I'm gonna use one of my favorite sauces, or this little goat went to Hong Kong. This is full of ginger, garlic, soy, black pepper, all these different layers of flavor, a little bit of fresh mint in here as well. Give it a good shake, then you just wanna pour it on. We're gonna do a nice soak on here, enough to give a deep coating so it's this rich, juicy, really delicious broth when it's done pressure cooking. If you don't have the Hong Kong marinade, you can go ahead and use soy sauce with a little bit of ginger and garlic and sort of throw together the same layers of flavor. If you put in too much at once, it doesn't have a chance to brown, so you wanna do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of oil. All right, so it's telling me to add the food, so it means it's time to go. We're gonna go ahead and put in a little beef at a time. Oh yeah, that is nice and hot and ready for some searing. So what we're looking for is this nice brown on our beef, and then you can flip it over. You wanna get that brown on all sides of the beef. What's so nice about this is instead of pulling out a saute pan to brown our meat and then putting it in, we get to do it all in one pot. Saves us on the extra cleanup. Plus the great thing is that all of the flavor that the beef leaves behind while it's sauteing is gonna just get mixed into our stew and make it even more flavorful. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in our sweet onions just over the top. We're gonna add in about a quarter cup more of our sauce, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna hit cancel on our saute and get ready to pressure cook. So we're gonna close our lid. Make sure you lock it for safety. We're gonna go ahead and get ready. Press pressure cook first. And then what's great is you get to choose which kind of steam release that you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead with the quick release. It lets the steam out nice and quickly when it's done. We're gonna set our time to 20 minutes. Press start. So while our beef is getting super nice and tender and juicy under pressure, we're gonna go ahead and get everything else ready to go. You can use baby bok choy or other greens that are your favorite. Some kale would work well, Swiss chard. I just love baby bok choy, especially with beef. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil on here and some salt and get this ready. We're gonna take the lid open. We're gonna air fry our bok choy right on top. It's gonna air fry and get a little bit of steam from the beef and be perfect to serve alongside our beef stew, which is so cool that we can do it in the same Instant Pot right after cooking our beef. Aside from that, I've got some herbs ready to go. I love herbs, I put them on just about everything. I've got mint and cilantro. And then one of my other favorite things in life that you can find in my refrigerator at any given time is some quick pickles. But what's exciting is I found an even quicker and easier way to make them. So I took some Fresnos and red onions, put them inside my Instant Pot, covered it with some seasoned rice wine vinegar. It's the perfect vinegar for quick pickling because it already has the sugar and salt ready to go. Brought it up to full pressure, cooked it for just two minutes on pressure, take it out, the quickest pickles. So delicious. We're gonna garnish with that too. Another feature that makes things super easy is that you can choose your steam release right here on the front panel, something new and different from other pressure cookers. Almost done, here we go, we should start. Of course you can hear the steam releasing, there's been a lot of pressure in there, but it's so quiet, it's not gonna wake anybody up. What's great is the display is gonna tell us exactly when it's time to open the lid, when it's safe to undo the lock, open it up, and all the pressure has been removed. And there it is. Just unlock, open. Well, that smells delicious. So now that we're done pressure cooking, it's time to air fry our bok choy. So first step, we're gonna transition our pressure cooker into an air fryer. I'll show you how simple that is. You just need a towel or a oven mitt because this is going to be hot. Press the little red button and it pulls out. It's that simple and you can put this directly into the dishwasher. It's that easy to clean. Now we're gonna put our air fry rack right on top of our beef and get ready to add in our bok choy that has a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt on it already. Close our lid and it's time to air fry. That simple. We're gonna click air fry. We're gonna choose 385 degrees for just four minutes. Hit start and it's almost time for dinner. Awesome, it's ready. All right, ready to open. Let's see what's happening. 
Beautiful. So looking at this bok choy, it's tender, it's a little bit crispy, sort of that texture of when you fry kale or diff fry different greens. Also that little bit of brown is gonna have the flavor like you grilled it. I'm just so excited about this. It's gonna have such great flavor, such great texture. So taking out my bok choy, my air fryer insert. Again, that can go straight into your dishwasher for easy cleaning. Oh, smells so good. Now we're just gonna ladle some of our stew right over the bok choy. It's tender, delicious. What's also great is by doing the air fry of the bok choy after, you got a little bit of extra color on the beef so it looks extra, craveably delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and top this with some of my pickles that I love so much for that nice brightness and acidity and a little bit of extra heat. Then we're gonna add some texture. I love a crunch. We've got our, this will go into New York crunch, filled with garlic, onions, a little bit of puffed rice. So tasty and delicious. And then we're gonna top it with some fresh herbs. Cilantro, mint. Ah, so many layers of flavor, so many textures going on. We've got the bok choy, we've got the tasty tender beef, we've got pickles on top, a little bit of crunch, everything you could want. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the Instant YouTube channel so you can get this recipe and so many more amazing ones to cook easily at home.